Hello, MLT. Cecilia Fountain here. See, this is me. This is the voice. Today I want to review how to create an event in CCB, especially since we're coming up with all of the new fall launches soon. First, you're going to go to your group. My test group is great for this. And go to your calendar and select the date that you're going to create your event. I want an event on Friday nights. And more than likely, you're going to need resources and rooms. And I'm going to create my test event. If I have a photo, I can upload it. This description area, this needs to be the information that you would want to put in a bulletin, the description that people will need to read to know if they want to go to your event. So description. You're already in your group. The leader of your group will default to be the organizer. Sorry, if this is a repeating event, you'll click repeat and select your criteria. And you're more than likely going to require leader approval or form response to get on the event, on the guest list. Click OK. Now you are in your event. You've created it already. You'll see the blue bar across the top. That means it's still pending. You'll want to add some things to your event, like rooms and resources. I want to have my event in the high school room. So I'm going to grab the high school room and drag it across. And I know that I've already talked to my pastor about this event, and they've approved it. And I know that I want to bring some more event resources over in a minute, and I'm just clicking to say that I know I need to do that. So I'm going to say Season's going to, I've talked to Season about my event, so I'm dragging her resource over here under additional resources so that she can click off that it's approved so that the rest of the staff knows that they can put effort into this event to, to see if it's going to be possible for your ministry or not. The next thing you want to do is maybe more resources. What do you need? Do you need the bulletin? Do you need communications? You drag that over and you answer the questions. So promotion wording here and then click done. If you need childcare, you drag it over. There's requirements for that. Same with coffee, um, to be able to make some coffee to serve. Uh, if you need a graphics, you pull it over. Musician, you pull it over. Production support, you pull it over. If you need a registration form, you pull it over and answer the questions that pop up. Now back to rooms. If you want a specific like setup in your room, you can click the room and request a room layout. And you can select which way you'd like to have it set up. Then you can also request chairs and tables. Uh, they're under resources. Under, let's see, furniture for specific buildings. We have the youth admin building furniture. That's the high school and youth room. Now I have to drag it over into the room. So the resources that go in the room, like rooms and tables, chairs and tables, go in the room. And I need 50 for my event. So now it shows that there's 50 there. Uh, if I need other resources, like some round tables or rectangular tables, I'll drag them and put them in the room. Say I need eight tables, round tables. So now I've got my tables, my chairs that are inside the room, and I have my pastoral's conceptual OK and any other resources in the bottom, and I click oh, Save. Now this updates, and you'll see that these places are pending. Now different people on campus will be alerted to your requests. This is why you want to have four to six weeks before your event to start this process because so many people need to be involved. Well, that was a crash course in creating an event in less than five minutes. Obviously, it will take more than five minutes to create a real event. A quick reference to the videos that are available. Go to the training link and go to group leaders. And the videos for events are at this next link here for events. And here they are. You can create event, add rooms and resources, final touches, a recurring event, etc. You can also find help going to the gear at the top right and typing in a topic and your CCB will come up with their help screens. Feel free to reach out to me and I will help you go through some of this and get you trained up. You can find me under People and search for Cecilia Fountain, C-E-C-F-O-U. And all of my contact information is available to you there. Have a great night.